Okay, the River State Governor, uh, Simile Fubara, has reviewed or exposed those behind the dynamite that was thrown in River State. You know, two days ago, it was reported that dynamite was uh, dynamite exploded in uh, the South Presidential Hotel in River State here in Port Harcourt. Now, the governor has come up to expose those behind it and their plan. Why they decided to come with dynamite? Why those people decided to come? Now, I want to show you those things in this video. Make sure you watch this video, watch it to the end, and don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the channel, drop your comments, give me a thumb up, so that this video will go far. Even the people will see it and watch this video and hear what the governor said. Now, a few days ago, there was a protest by... Uh, the people loyal to the FCT minister and the, uh, who, is, who was the uh, former governor of River State. Yes, the Mr. Onwike. You know, during that period, uh, it was reported that dynamite was detonated uh, close to presidential hotel in Port Harcourt, the capital city of River State. And somebody was, somebody was wounded and the person was rushed to the hospital. Now, governor has come up to say the people behind that. He made a series of revelations. And I want you to watch this video. Now, as reported by newspaper, so the governor said they detonated that dynamite so that they would justify their claim that River State needs to be declared state of emergency. That was what the governor said, as you can see on this uh, news. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, I know everything that is happening. Yesterday, while they are aware that you were here, there was an attempt to create a heavy problem. In fact, there was a plan to dynamite the presidential hotel because you people were there. But this God that we serve, it happened that the man who was trying to do it, it, it happened just a few seconds as blew his hand off. It, it happened in front of The idea was when you're hearing, say to emergency, emergency, it's so that by the time they finish, but when people are sitting tomorrow, they will say somebody from this state who called you people to tell you not to come will now raise issue of state of emergency. After all, uh, uh, the distinguished colleagues, when people went to the river, they saw what happened. But you see, when you are with God, even your own child, when you are planning evil, will go and tell somebody, look, God, look, that man, because that man is clean. This is what my father is planning. That is what is keeping us in this state. I tell you, we know everything that is happening. And you know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. We should be bold enough to look at the face of people and tell them the truth. I'm not fighting anybody. If I'm fighting, people will know that I'm fighting. The, the, my, my pattern will change. What we're doing is to defend ourselves. So far, it's defending ourselves. We can't just fold our hands. It's only a tree that will be standing and somebody will come out to chop him off. No, it doesn't happen as a human being. Once you know that danger is coming, you shift. So what we're doing is just to protect ourselves. So, please, uh, the same thing that I'm not fighting anybody. Somebody thinks, or some people feel, they own life. I don't own life. The person who owns life is God. What we're doing here is to serve the people of River State because God has given us this opportunity. It doesn't matter the channel the opportunity came from. But the most important thing is, is God. And nobody takes the place of God in anything. Who are the people? He said it was the opposition that did that. And who are the opposition? Who are the people fighting him in River State? It was people loyal to the minister of FCT. You know? Because we have seen it. It's not, it's not alleged. It's not allegation. So uh, 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 this video is uh, in order. The people belonging to the FCT minister are the ones that have been fighting him. The House of Assembly, former House of Assembly members, such so as uh, the people that caught said they, they didn't recognize, and the former uh, local government chairman that just left office last last week Monday. These are the people that we are doing this according to the governor, according to him, not according to Believer. So don't come for me now. So why are they doing this? You know, there was a time the governor said, okay, not even the governor, there was a time the 
uh, the caretaker chairman of APC, River State, somebody, Okocha, you know, that man, uh, during the press statement, he said that he called on the federal government to declare River State state of emergency. Then that man said that River State should be declared state of emergency, as you can see on the screen. Yes, you can see it on the screen. He said that River State should be declared state of emergency. So why are they declaring state, River State state of emergency? Is there any fight? Is there war? Is there commotion in the state? No. So why, the, why are you calling for state of emergency to be declared in River State? Why? You know, some of us, we don't support anybody, but there are some things we will say, we will say, no, this one is not right. This one is not right. You're calling up the current state of emergency. Why? There was no fight. There was no property. They are killing or they are, they are not fighting anybody in River State. So why calling for declaration? And the governor now said that it was the opposition because they wanted to take River State by all means. So they are doing everything to say that River State is not safe. You know, by detonating dynamite in River State is a way of proving, showing the world or the country that yes, River State needs to be declared state of emergency. So why are they doing like this? Why? <laughs> politics, I keep saying that politics is not for the weak. Politics is not, if you're weak, if you're weak, you can never play politics, especially when it comes to river state politics. No, you cannot play it. So the governor has said that the opposition was responsible for that dynamite, dynamite that was detonated in river states. Now what the governor said, he said the opposition was responsible. I'm not the one that said it. You can see it on the screen. You had him. So why are they even doing it now? Why? Why? Just to prove a point, political point, that River State actually is not secured. That's why dynamite was detonated. So he has exposed them. He has exposed them. Then, but even though the other people, let me just tell you, the people loyal to the governor, I heard over the radio, they were saying that the governor is putting it on them, but it was the governor that put the, the governor's people that did that. So there is a blame game. Governor is, is accusing the uh, people loyal to the minister of FCT. Minister, people with minister of FCT is accusing the governor. So it's a blame game. This will say this person did it. This person said this person did it. So who, who was responsible for that thing in Port Harcourt? Go to the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Please, it's a way of supporting me so that my page will grow as well so that I will have what I need to improve my production. See you in my next video. Bye.